Stop your arguing. Posey, that's not a wolf. That's my dog, Stogie. And this is my brother, Kevin. They're both coming to live here. Oh, a female roommate. <laughs> I've never lived with a girl before, but I assure you, I am a perfect gentleman. Yes, I can tell by your inner light that you're a good person. But Stogie, there are dark forces at work within him. Kevin, is everything okay? Are you sick or something? Nah, I stayed up till 4.30 last night. Mm, mask? No, just researching how to be cool. The internet's not as helpful as you'd think. Kevin, oh my goodness, what's happened to your inner light? Oh, uh, what, is it stained or something? Well, n well, no, but it's become dim and venal and wicked, like Andy's. Way to go, Kev. You burned out your inner light in one evening. Imagine what we can accomplish this weekend. This meditation tape is awful. It's not soothing me at all. In fact, I'm beginning to grow infuriated. That's not your tape, Posey. It's Kevin. He's been doing that since he was a kid. He uses it to drown out distractions. I, I should have mentioned it to you when he moved in. Bling, bling, blong, 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 a bling, blong, a bling, 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 Long. Now, what was it you wanted? Nothing. Nothing. Hello? I'm back from Japan. Oh, wow, well, I didn't realize you'd left yet. Sorry about that. Just a tiny dab like that. Now, for the hills. Palette knife or fan brush? Fan brush, no contest. Then it was turpentine! Use the fan brush! Take more Thorazine. Fan brush. Yes! Good call. That's nice. And down here, I think we'll have to put... A happy little tree. A happy little tree! A happy little tree. Yes! I love you, man! I really wouldn't get too involved in that program. It's almost eight, and my friends are coming over to watch Babylon 5. See? I reserved it a week ago. It's a done deal. Les jeux sans fait. <laughs> the die is cast. Fine. Believe me, I've got better things to do on a Saturday night than watch TV. Hey, mm. want to get sloshed? I have a date. But good idea. I'll get sloshed first. Mm. Hey, Posey, you want to hang tonight? Sure, get your stuff. We're late. Where are we going? Potluck supper for my women's anger collective. They won't like it, but I'll say the salad is from both of us. Um, why don't you go ahead and I'll catch up later. Groovy, I'll see you there. Babylon 5. Hey, R2, how's it going? Boop, boop, deet, deet. Hey, Posey, guess who I'm supposed to be? Agent Mulder from the X-Files. Oh, oh, yes, um, you look just like her. Bo so is my massage class paying off? Do you think I'm ready to go professional? Oh, yeah. I minored in massage at Borchmore. Ooh, can I go next? Sure. 
Oh, yeah. Huh? Last time I felt an ass like this, Eisenhower was president. Ah, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's joshing you, Andy. He says the same thing about my ass. Uh, hi. I'm here for my massage. Posey, customer! Oh, my first client. How exciting. <clears throat> this way, please. How do you like it? Very nice. Good. Just take off all your clothes and get under the sheet. Uh, what's the hole for? Your face? Sweet. Lady, that massage was a complete rip-off. I was expecting to have sex. I don't have sex with my customers. Exactly. Your ad is misleading, Missy. Misleading? Could you please explain how this ad is misleading? Let Posey's soft hands give you healing relief. Uh, that says release. Oh, my. What? Who are you guys? Ron, wh wh what are you doing here? I'm here for a massage. Bring me a drink. I live here. Must be nice. Huh? Say ah! it! Okay, listen up. There is nothing sexual about these massages. If anyone's here for sex, this is not that kind of establishment. Thank you. Aww. Andy, how can you live here? What? Hello, miss. I'm here about your ad. No more customers today. I am sorry. Goodbye. You're working my territory, baby. <laughs> no way. You're a pimp, right? A good old-fashioned bell-bottom and platform shoe pimp. Didn't I see you on Beretta? A pimp is an outmoded term, but yes, I'm here for my cut. Out! Get out of my home, you... you... cartoonish villain! I will be back, and you better have my money. Yeah, keep banging. That'll make me come faster. Good morning. You got something for me? Uh, sure. How's huh? this? Not so smart, are you, Mr. Pimp Man? Didn't they teach you anything at the Pimp Academy? Look at me, I'm Pimpy McPimpenheimer. Hello, Mr. Pimp, sir. Where are you? Right here, baby. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Posey, help! Give him some money! Mm, it's not about money now. No! I'm allergic to being splattered on the pavement. Please! My doctor says I should stay away from head trauma. No! <laughs> please don't! Ah, my back! It's all froze up! I can't feel nothing! Bad back, huh? Looks like somebody's ready for the old pimp's home. <laughs> Would you please help me, bitch? Okay, um, where does it hurt? Posey, no! What are you doing? A little lower. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, much better. So that's legitimate massage, huh? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> what the hell was that about? I didn't want him to fall off the roof and not feel it. Why must I do everything myself? I need an assistant. Line up. Oh. Let's see. Woman, freak, woman, vermin, woman. Where is Moran? Hey, what's going on? You. You are my new assistant. Ron, I don't have time to be your assistant. Besides, I hate your guts. Ha! You remind me of son I never had. Well, uh, I have a son, but I never see him. He's mental or something. Come! Okay, you win, Ron. I win! I win! I win! I win! What'd I win? 
the battle for my soul. I'm your new assistant. <sighs> I warn you, it's not an easy job. You must have training. You must have discipline. First role of management, you must look like a manager. <laughs> Sexy, huh? Eh? You like, no? I think you just answered your own question. Hi, are you looking for Andy? I am Andy. Oh, I was wondering how he got the keys to the apartment. What is wrong with you? You don't know who I am, but you think I'm looking for me? I was trying to do Andy a favor and take a message. I'm sorry. <laughs> you like that? Okay, more orange it is. <laughs> hey, neighbor. Drinky poo? We could bring the baby. Yeah, but I'm busy working. <laughs> right, Carlos. This isn't work. No offense. This is my work. I'm a painter. Okay, I see your point. But you have to see my point, too. That this isn't work. Fine, I'll find something else to do. Try not to work too hard, working guy. Eh, why bother? The following is a paid advertisement. Damn infomercials. Eh, why bother? In the next hour, I'm going to show you a product that will change forever the way you look at polishing metal. Mmm. Hey, there you are. I woke up and everybody was gone. You just woke up? It's 7 p.m. Andy, I'm starting to worry about you. I'm worried about what Gus will say when he sees how you're dressed. I'll just have a plate of eggs, thanks. No eggs. Ain't you read the sign? Gus, no one here is wearing a hat. They're all eating. Back in the day, people wore coats and ties and hats in this place. Now look at you. You don't got underwear even. Gus, come on. It's just a different philosophy. I I'm like a modern-day Buddha, freeing myself of worldly attachments. He's right. Buddha never wore underpants. Sorry, kid. No underwear, no service. Fine. I'll fend for myself, then. You can't bring your own food here? Get the hell out of my lunch! I don't care. I don't need you. I could go back to sleep! Ah. <sighs> needs to go outside. This is the life. Hmm. Top notch, Augustus. Say, can I get a plate of eggs? Certainly, sir. Read the sign. Ah, the photographer from Unemployment Weekly is here for your cover shoot. Shall I send him in? Phew. From now on, I swear, Andy French is on track for success! Can I borrow 90 cents for the subway? My generation played a really mean trick on me. I thought we were all goofing off together, but everybody else snuck out to get rich while I was sleeping. Oh, you mean during the 90s? <laughs> I mean, it could have gone better. Yeah, I really think this job will be a great career move for me. And I owe it all to you, Gus. You dirty, lying tramp, you. Uh, you and Wally both needed me, so sometimes wrong-hearted and right-hearted ain't so black and white, huh? A lesson learned. To Andy French, capitalist pig. To Andy! Why is everybody in such a good mood? Andy had an interview at an ad agency. Oh, that's why you're in a good mood? You didn't get that job. A man called. What? Oh, yes, he was quite specific. He said you weren't even in the top 20. I'm sorry. I should have given you the message before you got so falsely happy. <sighs> so, why is everyone else in such a good mood? <laughs>